Hi everyone, my name is Sam. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notification every time I post a new video. Also, please like this video for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, you have probably heard of ChatGPT and the cool things it can do for you. And in this video, we will be learning some of those cool things from ChatGPT. Uh, I will definitely recommend watching this video until the end to uh, see all the things that we'll be doing in this video. So let's get started. So you can use ChatGPT for a lot of different things. And one of the things that I have, I've been using it lately is for the Excel. So you have probably seen uh, how you can use Excel for simple things, like how to sum up things, how to uh, uh, multiply things and things like that. You know, the small things or small formulas that you'll be using on a daily basis. But ChatGPT can also do some of the more complex things for you, like uh, how to create graphs or how to create macros. And that is what we'll be talking about in this video, because the small things, you can actually Google them and you will get the answers. But some of the more complex things, you will have to watch a tutorial or something like that. But in this video, I'll be show you, showing you how you can use ChatGPT to solve that problem for you. So the first thing I want to talk about is how you can use ChatGPT to uh, create macros. So macros are sort of a automated way to do things. So if you're doing something daily, it's very repetitive and it is on Excel. So you can just create macro for it and the macro will kind of automatically do that process for you. We can use ChatGPT in this video on how uh, I'll get answer from ChatGPT on how to create a macro. So how to create a macro. In Excel. So while ChatGPT is uh, kind of processing that, we'll just I'll, I'll show you how it works. So you will need to have this developer tab on your ribbon for it to work. So to get that developer tab, it's possible that you don't have it already. So you will go to options, and then here you will go to you'll see all these uh, different options. But you'll click on customize ribbon, and here you will see a developer. Uh, well, developer ribbon, and then you click on it, then press OK, and then you will see this developer tab appear. And then you'll see a bunch of different things here, macros, and here's your code macro, and then uh, I'll show you how to do that in a, in a second. So first, we asked ChatGPT how you can create macros, and here's sort of a response from ChatGPT. Uh, and it's saying that you have to click on developer tab, which we have it here already, then record macros in a group. So here's the record button. So now we'll just uh, automate this Excel spreadsheet. So what I want to do, what I want to automate here is I wanna filter this entire spreadsheet by female and then the payment method cash. So also I wanna filter this uh, spreadsheet with female and then cash. Okay, so uh, I can do this by starting hitting the record button and then I'll call this uh, female. And then here is the shortcut keys that we will be needing it to run the macro. So you can uh, put any key here. You can also add shift in here and then S. So I'll just do control shift and S. So every time we hit control shift and S, it will, uh, the Excel will run this female macro. So I'll just click OK. So now we'll just, uh, uh, the, the macro is it started recording the macro. So now we have to just apply the filter. So it, we kind of have to apply the filter. Let's see, female, I'll just, I will select female here. And then in the payment section, I'll just do cash. And then I'll click okay. And then I'll stop recording. So, so now we created our first macro. So now how we can run that macro is, what we can do is uh, let's uh, remove all the filters. So we'll, we'll clear all the filter and then we'll run macro. So it was Control Shift S. So when we press on Control Shift S, the Excel uh, spreadsheet will automatically filter to female and cash. So here we go. We uh, press Control Shift S and here are all the females. So you will see the gender, all the females and payment, all the cash. So we can create macros for multiple things. This is just a simple macro that I created here, but you can create a lot of different macros to do a lot of different things uh, with this data. So now the second things I want to talk about is I want to ask ChatGPT how to create a graph in Excel. So graphs are very useful when you are visualizing different data. So let's ask ChatGPT, uh, how to get a graph in Excel and what would be the best graph for data visualization? Okay. 
I asked ChatGPT how to create graph, but this is the sort of the data set that we want to use for graphs. So let's see, so select the data so you want to include in a graph. So we'll just select the entire uh, spreadsheet. And then it says, click on insert. So we'll just click on insert. And then it says Excel, create a chart uh, for selected data. So option, customize the chart by, okay, as far as the graph. Okay, so these are different uh, graphs that it is giving me the options for. So all the graphs are, uh, different graphs are useful for different kind of things or different sort of data, but it says that suitable for comparing uh, valuable across different categories, so column graph or bar chart, then line chart, scatter plot, and then pie chart and area chart. So to create a different chart, we'll just select the column. So here we want to create a chart of number of females or males. And here, what we can do is we can just uh, select the column, then go to insert, then recommended charts. And it will kind of give us the count of uh, number of um, males or females. So this is what it looks like. So we have a total of 501 males and 500, oh, well, 499 females. If you want to do something else, like if you want to uh, create a chart for how many eval is and things like that, we'll just select that column, go to insert, and then recommended charts. And here is the chart for the number of items that are used. We can also have different kind of charts, like we can have a pie chart. I don't think this is giving me an option for a pie chart, but it will kind of show you how the, how the different kind of charts that you can use. So the recommended chart for here is the bar chart. So just click on this and you'll kind of go here and it kind of show, it is showing you the uh, cash, the credit card and the e-wallet. So, the most payment method that was used was e-wallet and then the second was cash and the third was the credit card. Also, that's how you kind of create a different uh, tables uh, for your data. Uh, this is it for this video. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. It will help my channel a lot and it will help me create a lot more content. Also, please check out my other ChatGPT related videos. You should see them at the end of this video or you should visit my channel. There's a playlist called Cool Tips where I chatted with ChatGPT about a lot of other things. So please check it out. I also have a playlist for Excel tips. So if you are if you're learning Excel, if you're a beginner or expert level, I'll recommend you check it out. It will be very helpful to you. And this is it for this video, so I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.